Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics here with an exciting new addition to Australia's most comprehensive range of jig heads, TT Fishing. This is the TT Chinlock Spins jig head. So today I want to talk to you a bit about the design of this jig head, also applications for use and demonstrate for you how to rig soft plastics on this weedless underspin presentation. So firstly, the design of the jig head. You can see it's a weedless presentation, so we're fishing a weedless hook here, which is ideal for presenting soft plastics into structure. So whether it's fishing timber, weed, lilies, you know, whatever structure you're fishing, this presentation allows you to get that presentation right in there where the fish are holding with minimal chance of snagging or fouling. So a brutally strong hook on this jig head. So this is a mustard black nickel chemically sharpened hook and it's an extra heavy hook because we're often fishing heavy drags and heavy lines and leaders and that when we're trying to extract fish from structure. So first thing we want is a rock solid hook as a foundation for this jig head. Then the name of the jig head, chin lock spins. So it has that chin lock feature on that jig head. So the chin lock is designed to lock the chin of the plastic in place, allowing you to fish aggressively, cast hard, fish can strike it and that plastic's held in place with that chin lock keeper. So the difference on this jig head compared to say a standard chin lock is you can see the additional weight on this jig head. So where the chin lock keeper is normally just a small piece there, this has additional weight so that we can get a nice long cast, we can get that plastic down in amongst the structure and where the fish are holding. So additional weight there in that jig head and also we've got this underspin element as well. So that adds flash and vibration to your presentation that draws those fish out of the structure to get those strikes, attracts them and triggers the strikes. So in the bottom there, there's a stainless steel attachment point with a quality swivel attached and you can see that blade there as well. So that blade is creating flash and vibration, attracting fish and triggering strikes. So that's a Colorado blade on there. So that rounder style of blade so that we get nice pulsing thump, nice vibration in there that really attracts those fish. And we could be targeting a stack of different species. There's a range of sizes in here, so we can target everything from bass in structure to flathead in the weed, to mangrove jack, barramundi, murray cod on these chin lock spins jig heads. Also, you will notice there is a nickel or silver blade and also a gold colored blade in the range. So some people have a preference gold over silver. I like to fish silver in the salt and silver is also popular in clear water whereas the gold is more popular in tannin stained water, dirty water, low light, that gold is a very popular option. So gold and nickel, you can mix it up however you like. We often then get asked, what plastics will I fish on this jig head and, and what are the applications? The applications are far and wide. The applications are everything from creek bass to flathead in the weed to big lake barra and also the Murray Cod and that sort of thing. Anything where you need a weedless application. And what plastic can I rig on it? You can rig virtually any plastic on there. Z-Man 10 times tough plastics are perfect because that chin holds up in that keeper, even when fish strike aggressively and that sort of thing. So I've got it rigged here in a few different sizes. The range covers your three inch plastics virtually right through to big eight inch plastics and that sort of thing. So there's a 3.0 in a quarter ounce, there's a 3 8 ounce in a uh, 3.0 and a 6.0 and there's a half ounce in an 8.0. So there's a good range to cover a lot of different applications and a lot of different plastics. So in terms of plastics you can fish in it, I've got the 3.0 here in a four inch streaks curly tail. So beautiful in there, you've got that action of the tail combined with that flash and vibration there. My favorite way to fish it over the flats for flatties is in a three inch minnows. So there I've got a curl tail, I've got a paddle tail. The action of the plastic plus that flash and vibration. Um, four inch craws here as well. So in a craw, got those flapping claws going and also that flash and vibration. But you can grab a plastic that has very little action like a center jerk shad and I've rigged it there. That's a four inch center jerk shad on a 3.0. So I've got that nice bait fish profile and I've got that flash and vibration sitting in there as well around the hook point. So that's gonna attract fish and trigger strikes there. So use your imagination. You can rig virtually any plastic on there that you can rig on a weedless jig head. If you're not sure on which plastic fits which jig head, you can go to tackletactics.com.au, check out the rigging guide section and you'll find a weedless rigging guide that tells you which hook size fits which plastic in the Z-Man range. So our 6.0, 6.0 is a very versatile 
uh, option. It's going to be perfect in, say, a five inch Streaks Curly Tails. It's going to go in a four inch diesel minnows, five inch diesel minnows. It's going to be a spot on for our frogs, like the four inch goat toads or the four inch hard leg frogs rigs well on a 6.0 if you want to get that frog going with that flash and vibration. And then we step up to the 8.0 the big giant fish stopper that fits well in a five inch diesel minnows, six inch swimmers, seven inch center jerk shads, those larger plastics where you're wanting to present that as a weedless option as well. So there we go, that's a five inch diesel in an 8.0. That flash, that blade will be turning, creating flash and vibration over the weed, drawing those barramundi out of the pocket. They hit that plastic and that plastic clears very easily, being Z-Man elastic material, it's soft and flexible. So that clears and boom, you've got that fish. And with a weedless presentation, you often hook the fish right in the corner of the jaw, which makes them hard, hard for the fish to throw that plastic once they all are hooked solid on there. In terms of rigging it, with our standard chin locks, we basically will just put that hook in, pull it right through, spin it around and put our hook up through the top. Because we've got the bulk of the lead here and also the blade, it makes it difficult to pass that whole thing through the plastic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a rigging channel, spin the jig head around and rig it back up through there. So basically we just take the jig head and we feed it through as we would when we're rigging with a normal chin locks jig head or weedless jig head. And normally we would pull that through, but we can't because of this blade set up here. So basically we just create a rigging channel. So I'm just gonna move that hook in and out a few times, make a bit of a slot there. And then I can just pull that hook back out again, flip it over and I'm gonna put the attachment point back through that slot I've made. So I'm gonna put the eye of the hook back up through that slot. And there you go. You can see I've just pushed that back up through the slot that I made there. All I'm, that's left to do then is to measure where we want the hook to come out of the plastic. And we can just push that hook straight up through the back of the plastic. And we are nice and straight and we're ready to go catch ourselves and bar Murray Cod or whatever we're chasing with that presentation. So you can see quite quick and simple to rig. We just create that rigging slot to push the eye of the hook back through measure up where we want our hook to pop out straight up through the plastic and that sits beautifully on there and we're ready to go. So that is the TT Chinlock Spins, weedless option with an underspin on there for added flash and vibration to attract fish and trigger strikes. You can check that out, 306080 in a few different weights there as well. Check it out at your local tackle shop and also online at tackletactics.com.au. Get out there, get that thing in some structure, fish on.